think we live in probably the best nation in the world. Uh, and we, we are privileged, and I have been privileged over my life to, uh, 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 you know, to have a lot. And so I think, I think it's important uh, for two reasons. Number one, to give back, if you can give back. And that's why I often say to people, volunteering is a, is a, is a great outlet in your life. How, how, who you may decide to volunteer with and what you may do doesn't really matter, but it is an opportunity for you to, uh, 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 to pay back, and I, I think that is important. But also, you know, uh, Margaret Mead had this statement about never underestimate the ability of a small group of dedicated individuals to change the world. In fact, they're the only ones who ever have, and that's kind of a loose quote. But, but. Um, when I see the impact that organization, well, Red Cross for me was it, but the like the work we did in Africa with HIV/AIDS and uh, uh, and going to uh, uh, Central America during the earthquake or or down for tornadoes in the Caribbean or off in the Philippines for the you know the the, the children and the, all kinds of different things. It was really uh, for me. It was just kind of uh, a way of of saying you know I can. I can help make a difference in some somewhere, and and shouldn't I, as a citizen of the world, have? Don't I have an obligation to do that? I mean, I I think it's very important. Our world is so small, and I don't think uh, you know we coin this term globalization, but I think we just let it kind of slide off. It's just a word, but we are a very small, small world, and the impact of what we can do or we do on the rest of the world is significant. And we, I think, we actually have a we're a citizen of the world in addition to a citizen of our own country, and I think we have an obligation. To, uh, uh, to try and improve it.